Alexander von Middendorf. Alexander Theodor von Middendorf, Russian, TR. Alexander Fyodorovich Middendorf, August 18, 1815, January 24, 1894, was a Russian zoologist and explorer of Baltic German origin. Early life. Middendorf's mother Sophia Johansson, 1782-1868, the daughter of an Estonian farmer, had been sent to St. Petersburg for education by her parents. There she met with the future director of the St. Petersburg Pedagogical Institute, Theodor Johann von Middendorf, 1776-1856, whose father was a Baltic German pastor in Karus, Estonia. As the two young people came from different social ranks and were unable to marry each other, their daughter Annette, born 1809, and son Alexander were born out of wedlock. Alexander was born on August 18, 1815 in St. Petersburg, but could not be baptized until six months later in the Estonian Lutheran Congregation of St. Petersburg, as the German Lutheran Congregation of St. Petersburg had not agreed to perform the baptism. In the accompanying paperwork, Middendorf's parents registered themselves as a married couple. In order to escape the attention of the public, the mother and son returned to Estonia, where they settled at the poor Avir mansion. Only in 1824, when the young Middendorf was ready to go to school, was his status legitimized when his parents finally married. Note, although his father Theodor was Baltic German, Middendorf's middle name is sometimes spelled as Theodorovich, a German corruption of the Russian patronymic, Fyodorovich, ovich meaning the son of the person, father, whose name precedes it. Education Middendorf received his early education from tutors in Raval and at a gymnasium in St. Petersburg. From 1832 he pursued a medical degree at the Imperial University of Dorpat where his professors included Georg Friedrich Parrott, Nikolai Ivanovich Pirogov, Hermann Martin Ismus, and Alexander Friedrich van Hook. Middendorf graduated in 1837 with a dissertation, written in Latin, on polyps in the bronchi. Dottie then undertook further studies at the Humboldt University of Berlin, University of Erlangen-Nuremberg, University of Vienna, and University of Breslau. In 1839, under the patronage of Karl Ernst von Baer, he accepted a job at Kiev University. Explorer and Scientist In 1839, Middendorf became assistant professor of zoology at Kiev University. In the summer of 1840, Baer asked Middendorf to join his second expedition to Novaya Zimoya, the first one took place in 1837. Due to stormy conditions the expedition failed to reach Novaya Zimoya, but Baer and Middendorf explored Russian and Norwegian Lapland, as well as the Barents and White Seas. Middendorf was tasked with crossing on foot the Kola Peninsula and mapping the peninsula from Kola to Kondalakshin while collecting zoological and botanical material. From 1843 to 1845, on behalf of the St. Petersburg Academy of Sciences, he traveled to the Tamer Peninsula and then along the coast of the Sea of Okhotsk and entered the Lower Amur River Valley, which at this time was Chinese territory. He published his findings in Risa in den Oysersten Norden und Tusten Siberians, Travels in the Extreme North and East of Siberia, in German, 1848 to 1875, which included an account of the effects of permafrost on the spread of animals and plants. He also wrote Dias Pipes in Ruslands, 1855, an account of bird migration in Russia, and a monograph on mollusks, Vitrigatsu einer Malakozoologia Rossica, 1847-1849, in which he coined the term Radula. In 1870 he visited the Baraba steppe and in 1878 the Fergana Valley. He died at Helenium in Livonia, present-day Volga County, Estonia. Middendorf's Grasshopper Warbler Cape Middendorf of Novi Zimulia, Kodiak Bear, Ursus Arctos Middendorfi, and Middendorf Bay of the Tamer Peninsula are named after him.